morning, hi everyone. This is Aunt Stacy, and I'm here with Daisy, a beautiful Persian. And Daisy is in one of my very favorite carriers because it's very accessible. It's a good size for her, and it fits very easily in the unit. She can still stay inside of it. But we're going to demonstrate what I like to do for some cats who, like Daisy, are friendly, but they still want the security uh, that the carrier provides, that safety. Hi, pretty girl. I'm going to open the unit door so we can see a little bit better what I've done. Hi, honey. You see her look around a little bit there like, hmm, what's going on? What's happening? She knows she's here for her groom. A little nervous lick, but she's a sweet girl. Oh, yeah, she's a very sweet girl. So what I'd like to demonstrate here today is just the unique benefit of having the carrier actually stay in the unit, in the holding unit, if you can't groom the cat immediately when it gets here or once you're finished grooming it. Now she's looking out, she's a little curious. Hi pretty girl. But as I move towards her, she goes back in, she feels safe. What I've done is I've just opened the front door, I've opened the top, I've left it in there. She has a litter box accessible, it's pulled forward, which of course, I like a lot just so the kitty can get behind it and in this little space over there if she wanted to get out she could and some cats do some cats will get out of their carrier some cats will stay inside of it certainly I always give them the option to be out of the carrier and to just hang out in the unit if they're comfortable doing that like her little neighbor over here Lizzie is Lizzie who's another little Persian she comes and sees me every four weeks and she's just the most chill kitty she's just relaxing waiting for her turn Hi, sweet girl. The Daisy here, she likes the comfort of the carrier. She likes feeling safe and secure in there. Hi, honey. You see, she's a little bit nervous. I'm going to go ahead and shut this door because I'm going to have to get started on her soon, and I don't want to get her too worked up before our session begins. Notice how once that door was closed, she kind of popped her head out of her carrier a little bit, looked up at the top. A little bit of confidence here, seeing what's going on. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, you're so pretty. We are. We're going to get started real soon. Thank you. Compassionate grooming is just all about seeing it from the cat's point of view and doing all that you can, a lot of simple steps actually, just to make the process less stressful, more kind, more thoughtful. That's what compassionate grooming is all about. Hey, sweet girl. Thank you, big girl. <laughs> you ready to get started? <laughs> 